Not bad. Oh, Albus is doing it again. Who's doing what? Albus, here. Where? Where? This way. Oh, oh, oh. oh, oh. That was wild. I should send a child and fix that. What? Decision is taking Minerva. Leader is in the place. Woo! Too much TikTok. Hi, and welcome in things that you might not know about. I'm warm. There might be some spoilers. If you get spoiled, uh, well, you should have at least watched the movie like a long time ago. Chris Columbus, the director, really wanted Daniel Radcliffe to play Harry Potter, but his parents, Daniel Radcliffe's parents, not Chris Columbus, he's an actor at the time, doesn't need his parents to take a decision, to suffer the consequences of overwhelming, <laughs> it's not a consequence. So his parents didn't want him to suffer the consequences of overwhelming fame. Luckily, one night, the producer David Heyman ran into Daniel and his father at the theater. Or maybe he was talking them to have an opportunity. Hmm? And he asked him, <coughs> he asked him to audition. And well, Columbus has flair and J.K. Rowling herself said that watching the first audition tape of Daniel was like watching her son. Somebody wants to tell me the world is going crazy. I ain't no Always the same song. Nabi. The first opus is all about <laughs> The first opus is all about the Philosopher's Stone, which comes from an actual legend. It's supposed to prolong life and <laughs> it's supposed mostly to prolong life and transform base metal into precious one. Minerva, it doesn't talk about us. Relax, Albus. Ew, ew. You better do. But what is less known is that the creator... Oh, that was late. I do it again. The creator... It's complicated. But what is less known is that the creator was an actual person. It was my friend, Harry. <laughs> what could you? Oh. He was a French scribe and manuscript sailor. And it wasn't even sure that he was an alchemist, really. This legend came out after his death, like 200 years after his death, maybe. <laughs> the filming of the second opus started three days after the first one finished, which is very efficient work. So you know there is a lot of mythological creature, and on set they have worked so hard on the animatronic of the phoenix that according to that man it was so convincing that even though phoenix are not real creature, Richard Harris 
who played Dumbledore in the first two opus. Minerva, it's my time to shine! Believed it was a real bird. Ah! Oh. Coming! Oh, never mind! And what was not a real bird was Dobby. Dobby was just a ball on a stick, so no confusion. Sadly, Richard Harris died a few weeks before the film's release. Ay, 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 ay. They had to recast the role and they asked so, so they had to recast the role and they asked Sir Jan McLaren if he was interested. Run! Minerva, who's that whole man running in the cold yard? Oh dear, not again. It's nothing, it's scandal. Don't worry. Oh. Nice beard. The actor refused the role, because Richard Harris once said that he was technically perfect as an actor, but he was playing without passion. So he... So he... <laughs> so he refused the part, because he said he couldn't take the part from an actor who disapproved it. He still didn't mention I can turn into a cat. He didn't mention Severus. Oh. I love him. Follows me and come out me. I know the way I am when I Let's talk animals. The main... I feel like I didn't say words. There is a lot of mythological creatures in Harry Potter, and one of the challenge of the team was to make them look as real as possible. Oh no, come on, did you see the pony? No, me neither. So for Buckbeak, they used a full-scale puppet on set combined with special effect. They even wrote a full computer program to have all the different feathers to move like it, if it was not a real one, because hypocrites don't exist, but like birds or chicken or turtle. No, it doesn't work. For even more realism, the bats in Hagrid's hood were real. <laughs> they really wanted to avoid CGI a maximum. And so hired a professional illusionist, Paul Keefe, as a consultant. The third movie is the only one where nobody perishes. Ooh, yeah, tell them what happened to Severus. And it's also the only one with no Voldemort appearance. And it's also the last one to be released on VHS tape. VHS tape, um, is... Well, people born before 2000, <laughs> you know the drill. For the people after, don't mention it. Ignorance. It's all right, I wish it's all right. Not a word. I've been arrested. I stole candy. He spoke about the film. Don't mention that, we said. Hola, my little chicken. I wasn't happy with the ending of the video, so I do it here and now. Here and now. Thanks for watching the video. I hope you enjoyed. Like, share, subscribe. And don't forget, happiness is right under your nose. So smile. A sound. <laughs> no, no, I'm a door. I'm a Clifford Lord, I'm not a Slater in any more, I just want to need to change up. The actress of the costume isn't greatest, but <laughs> I'm poor, okay? Imitation isn't my strength. <laughs> oh. Don't come at me for that, okay? I know you belong. Vous êtes un pour votre regard avec une coupe de
ಬಿಡಿಸಿದೆ ಹೋಲ ಹೋಲ ಹೋಲ